Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a lightning trident killer. That is right, an on and off lightning trident killer. Now, of course, it does need to be raining, but... It's raining right now, and it rains all the time on my server, so, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy. The great thing about this as well, it really needs next to no materials. So, let me show you exactly what you're going to need. So, for this build, you are simply going to need some concrete. I mean, any block of choice. Make sure it's a solid redstone conductible block. You're going to need a lightning rod. Bring yourself four observers. I have no idea why I've got six. Bring yourself four pistons, normal pistons. Bring yourself four pieces of redstone dust where's my other piece gone what happened to that i have no idea and yeah you're gonna want to bring yourself a channeling one trident i mean it doesn't need to be fully fixed um because you're not you're only gonna throw it once right i'm gonna get myself some redstone and i'll be back how on earth do you lose no no all right yoink i don't really want to do a dark time tutorial so i'm gonna go bed and we're gonna wait for it to rain before we turn this thing on Let's go. So, once you've got all your materials, first of all, we're going to simply make ourselves like a little area. I'm going to do it here, and I'll explain why at the end of the video. First of all, I'm going to knock four blocks out of the ground and just place four blocks of concrete, solid blocks. You don't need to do this. You can leave this dirt. But, yeah, there's the floor. Next, you want to grab your pistons and simply place them in this formation like so. Next to your pistons, you're going to want to fill that up with solid redstone conductible blocks. Now, in the sides of the other pistons, so the arrow is facing towards you, you're going to want to place your observer blocks. So, crouch space, make sure the arrow is facing towards you on every single piston, like so. And then after that, you're going to want another solid block in the direction of the arrow. After that, you can go in these two gaps between the two solid blocks and go ahead and place yourself some redstone. Four pieces is all you need. Of course, I forgot something. You need a lever. I'll be back in one second. <laughs> right, lever acquired. And then if I can do this to make it look cool. No, complete fail. Basically, you want to go ahead and place it on this piston. I mean, any of the pistons, to be fair. And then flick it again, and it should go like this. So, flick the switch, and then add the final component, which is going to be our lightning rod. And then we're done. Now all we need to do is grab our channeling trident, and we're going to wait for the rain. I mean, that shouldn't be a problem. All right, while we're waiting for the rain... I'm going to show you why exactly I built it where I did. So, I'm going to, like, mock up a rough, like, thing of a farm I'm going to build in the future. Just to show you why I built it there. So, as you can see, I've built this next to a villager breeder. And if you haven't guessed already, I'm going to basically throw a bunch of villagers into this. And you'll see why very, very soon. So, like I said, I'm going to mock up a little, uh, like, tunnel just to get them in here. And just isolate this off. So they can't escape. No! Oh, damn. That was crazy. Hee <laughs> hee. That's what you get. Oh, damn. Right, yeah. Um, I'll be back after I've done this. We've got to do some nighttime building, which, uh, as you can see, it's dangerous. Basically, I've made this little thing. And long story short, when uh, you breed these villagers, villagers should go through here. And up there and into the kill chamber. However, um, I kind of didn't take into consideration that you got to wait for the villagers to grow up first. So, for the purposes of the video, I am just going to use these two. And I'm, I'm going to sacrifice both of these two um, yeah, to make this really cool so I can show you my example. Of course, this isn't um, like the best of things. It's just a quick mock-up. I'm going to make a, a, a better tutorial than this. So, fingers crossed, I can get this uh, out soon. But yeah, let's grab our trident and wait for Lorraine. Fingers crossed, it shouldn't be too long. We can do while you're waiting is just double check that it's working. Perfect. And now we wait. Like I said, literally, it rained. Oh, no. That wasn't good. 
Well, as I was about to say, it rains all the time on my server. Oh, no way. No way. Did you see that? Oh. Cue the music. Alright, I've got to find this trident. Oh. That was the most Illuminati thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I told you, it always rains. And then it rained. <laughs> oh, damn. This is absolutely insane. Right. Oh, my God. That couldn't have worked out any better. Right. We're going up here. And then what we do, we've got to be careful right now. We're throwing this trident at that. We're going to get one bolt of lightning happen. Okay. So, first of all, I want to crack space. Aim at the lightning rod. Fire. We should get one strike of lightning. Then when we turn it on, watch what happens. This is a little bit crazy. You don't want to be close. And we can repeatedly get the lightning strikes. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> this is insane. Don't go near it. <laughs> Sayonara. So, yeah, we can do that. We basically just now um, need to sacrifice those two villagers. Can you see what my plan is now? We're going to sacrifice these. And, yeah, it should go uh, pretty good. Uh, this is crazy. This is... Yeah, it's all a little bit crazy. Obviously, we've got to do some stuff at night, which is not great. We don't want these uh, kind of villagers to die. Yes, they're trapped in there. This is so scary. Right, let me let me get this off. Come on. You can do this, guys. Right, now their journey's beginning. Go. No. Go, 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 go. Go, get out. Right, this one's going to do it. You're going to do it. So, fingers crossed, he'll go into the machine and he'll turn into a witch. I haven't got a collection system on it. But, yeah, this is going to be, um, right, this is the starting of a witch farm. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm going to make a better tutorial at some point. Oh, no, come on. Go in. Come on, go in. It's going to happen. Yes, it happened. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. Now, uh, basically, the witch dies, and then we get whatever it, it, it dropped. So, let me let me just turn that off right now. This is crazy. Hopefully, it doesn't burn the things. I mean, there's a little bit of fireage there. But it works. See the overall principle? Uh, that was the plan. That villager's probably going to die soon. Um, but, yeah, that was awesome. Dude, that is so cool. Being gone, let me just do a little bit of explaining. So, I'm really happy that the overall idea of it worked. So you can see with the overall idea, basically funneling a bunch of villagers into this. You wait for them to grow up, wait for the rain, and boom, you can kill a bunch of witches. I mean, it might be worth sending them into the nether first. I'm going to come up with a much better tutorial than this, but I just wanted to show you the uh, overall concept. Also, that villager breeder still works. For anyone who's looking for a villager breed art, that's probably the simplest on Bedrock. So yeah, I'll put that in the description. Overall, great success. So that was the Lightning Trident Killer. You can make yourself a bunch of charged creepers with this as well. I just thought of the villagers getting hit by lightning, turning into witches. You can make a witch farm. You can make a charred creeper farm. So yeah, it is pretty decent. Again, hope you get some ideas on this. I'll catch you on the next one.